Hey, this is Sonny James, Artist Relations Manager here at Serato, based in Los Angeles. In this video, I'll take you through using effects in Serato DJ Lite. Serato DJ Lite is a great tool for those of you who are beginning to build a music library and learn the fundamentals of mixing songs together. So far, we've shown you how to access music in your preferred streaming library, how to match tempos from one song to the next, as well as how to use cue points and loops to make your job a lot easier. Now it's time to move on to incorporating effects. Using effects in your mix can add a lot of sauce and take your sets to a whole other level. To start, load your tracks to both the left and the right decks. Next, go to the top of the screen in Serato DJ Lite and open the effects panel by clicking on the effects button. Once the effects panel is open, you'll notice that you have a set of three effects on the left deck and three for the right. The first default set includes a high pass filter, a low pass filter, and a flanger. The second set includes echo, reverb, and phaser. Let's check out how each of these sound by using them with the Hercules DJ Control Impulse T7 controller. In the center of the device here, you'll notice that there are effects paddles that correspond to both channels 1 and 2. These have two modes depending on your use case. If you flip the paddles down, the assign effect will be active temporarily. But if you flip them up to the hold mode, the assign effect will remain active until you flip the paddles back to the middle position. In addition, there are three buttons here for effects 1 and three for effects 2. You'll notice that these reflect what is happening in Serato DJ Lite. The knob here is what I like to call a wet and dry control, and this will adjust the depth or amount of an effect you'll hear when active. Last but not least, the plus and minus buttons on each side of our depth knob are used to adjust beat counts. In the software, you can set your beat's length from 1 16th to 8 counts. This is particularly useful for echoes and delays. Please note that when you turn on an effect, it will remain on until you turn it off. This is even the case if you load a new song, unless you change that in Serato DJ Lite's preferences. To do this, go to the Setup menu in the DJ Preferences tab and check the box that says Turn Off Effects on Song Load. I like to keep this checked so there are less things to think about when I'm in the mix and loading songs from my library. You can also click each effect in the software to change it to the effect that you like. For instance, you may want to replace the high pass filter with echo or replace flanger with reverb. Once you close Serato DJ Lite, those new effects will default once again to the original six options. Another cool feature is the channel effects section. For controllers and mixers without built-in hardware effects, you can now assign either a filter or dub echo to the channel effects filter knobs. This is also now available for use with Serato Play. Having the option to use dub echo without hardware can help create a more dynamic and professional sounding mix, even when you're using a more simplified laptop only setup. I like to use this effect when I'm signaling to my audience that I'm pivoting to a different tempo or genre. No matter how you use effects, when done with moderation and good timing, they can really add a lot to your arsenal and help your set stand out from the rest. I use several effects throughout my mixes to help tie things together sonically, and I look forward to hearing how you all do the same. See you again soon.